Have you ever wondered what the moon smells like? Me either. But Chris said it's sciencey and interesting and people need to know. So let's get to it and learn everything we can about the smelly moon. The moon has captivated our imaginations for millennia. While most of us will never get to experience it firsthand, there were a few people who got a big whiff of it. During the Apollo missions of the late 60s and 70s, astronauts who walked on the lunar surface described a distinctive odor clinging to their spacesuits upon re-entering the lunar module. That could also be because they ate an immense amount of dehydrated ice cream and were in a closed suit, so at some point a silent but deadly was bound to escape their black hole. Imagine, if you will, the smell of burnt gunpowder with a hint of metallic tang. Or if you tried my grandmother's meatloaf, pretty much the same thing. So what could possibly cause such a, well, let's be honest, 1970s misspent youth mixed with some 1960s botulism canned vegetable scent? The answer lies in the moon's composition and its interaction with the space environment. The moon's surface is primarily made up of rocks and dust, but it's not just any ordinary rock. The lunar regolith, as it's called, is rich in minerals like iron, magnesium, and titanium. When the sun's ultraviolet rays bombard the lunar surface, they cause chemical reactions known as photodissociation, releasing these minerals into the thin lunar atmosphere. Every time I take a selfie and I get to look at my wrinkles, I too have photodissociation. Over billions of years, these minerals have been bombarded by solar radiation, micrometeorite impacts, and cosmic rays, altering their chemical structure and creating volatile compounds. When astronauts walked on the moon, they disturbed the lunar regolith, kicking up the dust and releasing these volatile compounds into the air. This is where that peculiar smell came from. Back on Earth, scientists have recreated the lunar environment in laboratories to study these volatile compounds. They've confirmed that the smell reported by astronauts matches the chemical signature of moon rocks. Thus, the scent of the moon is a result of complex chemical reactions happening on its surface over billions of years. So the next time you gaze up at the moon, remember that it's not just a silent sentinel in the night sky. It's a world with its own unique scent waiting to be explored and understood, just like when I walk my dog, Indiana Jones, and she meets another dog. I didn't think it was possible to get one's nose that far up there, but hey, this is a judge-free zone. 